Hi everyone, welcome to this new network in TensorFlow course, which is part of the specializations for deep learning in TensorFlow. This course is a foundational program that will help you understand the capabilities, the challenge, and also the consequence of new network, and prepare you to participate in the development of leading edge AI technologies. This course will cover the foundational principles of new network, and you will learn how to build a new network with the use of TensorFlow Claris and also Python. And once you have some ideas about how to build a new network in TensorFlow, you will learn some advanced techniques that will improve your uh, models in the next course. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Before we dive deep in new network, let's try to understand the terms artificial intelligence, machine learnings, and new network. Nowadays, a lot of digital technologies are commonly associated with these terminologies. While these terms do, or, or these technologies do or play a role, these terms tend to be used uh, interchangeably in many, many conversations, leading to some confusions from time to time. And hopefully, we can, um, we can take out that ambiguity here. Perhaps the easiest ways to think about artificial intelligence, machine learning, neural networks, and deep learning is to think of them like a washing and lasting door, which is essentially a component of the prior term. That's it, the artificial intelligence is the umbrella term Machine learning is a subfield or subset of artificial intelligence. And then uh, deep neural network is another subfield or subset of the machine learnings. And finally, deep learning is a subfield of machine learning. And you know, neural network is kind of make up the backbones of deep learning algorithms. So what is artificial intelligence? Um, this is coined by John McCarthy uh, a long time ago. Artificial intelligence is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines, especially intelligent computer programs. And has, after so many, so many, so many years, uh, uh, AI has been in, evolved it because it's like a moving goalpost. From time to time, the terms or the definitions has been changed. In essence. AI is a machine with cognitive functions to solve some problems that are usually done by humans with our natural intelligence. Machine learning is an application of artificial intelligence that provides machines the ability to detect patterns and also make predictions and recommendations. There are three types of machine learning algorithms, which are supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. And here you can see that neural network falls under the supervised learning subfields. And neural network is uh, much, more, uh, much more specific uh, in terms of the artificial intelligence machine learnings. Um, that is a kind of machines that mimics the human brain through a set of algorithms. Um, a new network is a massively parallel distributed processor, which is just like a network, and they make up of some simple processing units that is the neuron. It has a natural properties for storing experience and knowledge through learning. And then with that learning, um, they will later on make it available for use, uh, say for example, for classifications, and also for predictions. There are two key aspects that how new network is resemble the brain. Um, first of all, knowledge is acquired by the network through a learning process. That means we need to provide some knowledge, provide some uh, evidence, provide some fact, provide some data um, to, the, to a network, to a new network. And then through learning, they will acquire some knowledge. And these knowledge are stored in a interneuron connections strength known as synaptic rate. 
they are used to store their acquired knowledge. Therefore, whenever we would like to use those knowledge, we will just come back to this interneuron connections strength, and then we just come back to this weight to get those acquired knowledge and apply it for our purpose. Now let's have a deeper look in machine learning and new network. There's two approach to artificial intelligence. Um, the first approach is expert system, and the second approach is the machine learning. A rule-based expert system is the simplest forms of artificial intelligence, and they use uh, prescribed knowledge-based rules to solve a problems. And the main objective of an expert system is to take knowledge from a human expert and then convert these knowledge into a number of well-defined rule applied explicitly in the input data. In the most basic form, the rules are commonly conditional statements. That is, if A, then B, else if B, then Y, something like that. And this system should be applied to Smaller problems is mainly because the more the complex a problem a system is, the more the rules that are required to describe it. And therefore, increase the difficulty to define all the rules explicitly for all possible scenarios and outcome. Now, let's, let's take an example, uh, a, a logic gate. Here we have an N logic gate that means the A, B is the, are the input. Uh, if we provide a zero, zero to it, and because of this is an end gate, we would like to have an outcome that is C. And similarly, uh, if we provide a zero one, because this is an end gate, it will provide, it will give us an answer zero. Therefore, a logic gate is just like a rule-based expert system. First thing first, we can define a function and engage functions. Uh, if A is equals to zero, and then if B is equals to zero, it will give me a C equals to zero. Or otherwise, if A is equals to zero, and then else if B is equals to one, it will give me C equals to zero. On the other hand, just in case, if A is not equal to zero, uh, else if A is equal to one, and then if B is equal to zero, it will provide me C equals to zero. Again, um, now we have A equals to one, and, and then what if B is, not, uh, is also equal to one, and it will give me a C equals to one. And finally, it will return me a the C value. So our input arguments are A and B, and it will return me a C. Here you can see that all the rules are explicitly written down, mainly represented by if-then statements. Let's print out the results uh, with different arguments input. Um, let me run this cell first and define the end gate. And you can see that if the input is 0, 0, it will give me a 0. If input is 0, 1 or 1, 0, and it will give me an, a 0 again. And finally, only if um, we provide 1, 1 for A and B, and it will give me the result 1. And this is how rule-based expert system work. Now let's take a look on another approach to artificial intelligence, namely machine learning. Machine learning is an application to artificial intelligence that provides system the ability to automatically learn and also improve from experience without being explicitly programmed. So unlike rule-based uh, Rebase expert system, we do not need to explicitly program everything. Machine learning focuses on the development of computer programs that can assess data and use it to learn for themselves and later on use 
that established the um, network or established the um, machine algorithms to make the predictions. To visualize a bit, on the left-hand side of the graph, we have an expert system. We need to provide the data, and also we need to provide the well-defined rules, and then we will get the answer. Like the previous example, if we provide the input data A, B, and then the rules of an N gate, we will get the output C. On the other hand, for machine learning, we need to provide the data and their associated answer. And then the machine will figure out the rules, and later on, we can then use these rules to predict their answer. Like the previous example, if we provide the input A, B, and also the answer C, the machine learning will help us to figure out these end gate logics. Now, let's take a look on this example. In machine learning, the input, um, we will call it the features. And then the output, we will call it the labels. And then once we uh, provide all these um, information into the machine learning, depends on what kind of algorithms that you use, the rules uh, will be defined by that algorithm. Here, the algorithm is neural network. That means the rules will represent the neural network. Uh, first thing first, we import the uh, NumPy and also from TensorFlow Carrots, we import the sequential models and we also import the dense layer. Later on, we will cover that in details. But for the time being, just, um, just consider that we need to import those essential library first. And then we build an X and also build a Y. And then this X is actually contains all these features information. And then this Y uh, contains all these labels information. Therefore, X is the input data and Y is the output data. And then we set up the model. Uh, this is a sequential model. That means the layers are stacked um, together one by one. And then we will have four neurons uh, in the first layer, and then one, uh, one neuron uh, at the last layer that is a, uh, activated by sigmoid. Again, we will cover that in later. Because the output is just a one single number, one single digit. That means we just need a one new neuron at the output layer. And then, of course, we need to compile the models and also we need to fit the models uh, with the input X and also with the uh, output Y. And then, import that means we are going to train it uh, for 200 times. And finally, we just um, evaluate um, how good uh, the, or the accuracy of these uh, trained model. Now, let's run Git and take a look on the results. By training the neural network for 200 times, and then finally, the accuracy is around 75%. That is not bad. However, machine learning actually requires big data. This is one of the reasons why machine learning is, uh, is a hot topic in recent years because of, of the evolutions of big data. The process of learning begins with observations of the data, such as examples, direct experience or instructions in order for us to look for the underlying patterns in the data and make future predictions based on th those examples that it learned. Therefore, machine learning algorithm becomes more effective and accurate as the size of training data set scope. That means it requires a lot of the data to work. With our large data, well-maintained data set, or machine learning algorithm will just fail. 
let's take a look to see how big data can make, can make the machine learning more accurate. Here again, we use the previous example. We provide x and y um, for the for the training data for the training data for the features and also for the labels. And then uh, we just again we just expand the x and expand the y by fifty times. Uh, that means we try to provide more labels, more samples uh, into this machine learning algorithm. And everything remains the same. And let's take a look on the accuracy. Now, let me run this out. Sorry. Now, you can see the accuracy now is 100%. 100 accuracy. With large enough data set, not only the accuracy is higher, but also the convergence rate is much more faster. Here you can see that for the epoch, uh, we just need 100 epoch instead of 200 epoch that we have in previous example. Therefore, with large enough data, accuracy and also for the convergence rate, are uh, both um, uh, is higher and also faster, respectively. And that's it for this gentle introductions of AI, machine learning, and neural network. I hope now you have a better understanding about these terminologies and why big data is so important for machine learning. In the next video, we will talk about logistic regressions and understand how neural network shares similar theory and concepts. See you in the next video.